All right, sweet. Uh, Shannon, take it away. So, so who is this one? I'm Robert Indiana piece that I created. Uh, what I've done here is I've used different techniques of layering, and I got inspiration from one of his pieces, which was a bit different to his usual printmaking. He used a lot of arrows and layering, and then directional points, as well as incorporating the words that has significant to what I'm talking about and numbers. So the idea behind it was connecting to the food bank. So I have food and eat connects that as well as their address number, which was 23. And then I just took pieces from his work, like the stars and the circles and the way that he would enlarge and decrease sizings of things and then put them together. So this is a little bit different from some of the other students, Robert and Deanna. Yeah. You're quite an older, an older sort of style of his work, eh? Yeah, exactly. Because a lot of his newer styles is printmaking, where he would kind of fill in space, where instead of filling in space, mine was all coloured in shapes. So I kind of like inverted the idea from one of his older pieces. But yeah. So that overlap, and you know how you've got that light blue, um, sometimes it's in front of the arrow, sometimes it's behind the arrows. Yeah. So is that indicative of his work? Yeah, that's indicative of his work. He had overlapping in the piece that I was looking at. And also it kind of was the overlapping with his newer pieces, where he would have different colours over the top of others, and then it would create, create a different shade of a different colour, so I kind of brought that idea in as well but just formatted it in a different way. Mm. Okay guys, what do you think? Um, what are some things that... Well, first of all, do you think... Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, what do you think? Um, do you think Shannon's done a good job of... Okay, first of all, do you recognize this as Robin India? I've seen some of these as I know, I, Yeah, that's right, yeah, Alana. I know you have, because we were talking about some of those ones that are more unusual. But the ones I showed you, the ones I showed the whole class, they don't really look like this. No. Um, that much. So, are these sort of early 60s that you were looking at? Yeah, they were. I mean, they are, it is different, but it also does include the same concepts with the colours and the shapes and the boldness and also just the formation of the letters and fonts. So it definitely is like I do see it as one of his pieces, but not as one of his most iconic pieces, which right. everyone thinks of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, now, does he have the words getting so close to each other they sort of overlap? Like, food is sort of all connected. Is that also what's happening in some of these works? Some of his works, like the love one, where they all kind of merge together and then make different shapes in between them. I kind of used that concept with the touching, but I didn't have them in kind of like a... Changing colour. Changing colour, and I didn't have them stacking on top of each other. I just kind of had them connecting with the circular motion of the arrows. Okay, what do you guys think? You've used the colours of Robert and Deanna really well, like his specific colours that he uses, like his darker tones in bright bold ones. The colour scheme was taken from one of his later works, so it's kind of like a replica of the colour scheme but in a different format. And there's the target and the arrows and the stars that, that he uses. Do the colours change, do they get darker when they overlap, like in your case? Um, you can see a little bit. A little bit. I know that they're changing on yours, but do they change in the one that you were copying? Uh, yes, I think there was a few parts of overlaying, overlapping with yeah. the arrows. So they just changed the colour a little bit? Yeah, just a little bit. Not as much as in my one. Oh, okay. Alright, okay. Um, I think it, it's, um, it's kind of bothering me that the red and the blue are on the same length mm -hmm. but and that the green one they are all pointing to one <laughs> I feel like fixing it or something but, oh they're um, not the green one's like slightly underneath where it's not completely centered 
Is right. that what you mean? No, no, I mean, I feel like, I feel like that should be longer and that uh, this green one should be exactly the same. <laughs> but that's only if that's what he does. I mean, some of your overlaps are so close, like that, that little tiny bit on the three in the arrow, and that tiny bit, like, sort of like, there's tiny bits, and I'm, if that's what he does, that's cool. Oh, by the way, is this, is this on my computer, or what's going to work? That's not working. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. It's not no. on the water. Anyway, I wasn't sure if that was it. It's not meant to be there. I just feel as if, I mean, it's all about the artist model. If the artist, if, if he doesn't do that kind of stuff, there's no reason that you need to. I mean, the piece that I was looking at, all the arrows were different shapes, so none of them were actually completely the same or symmetrical. So I was kind of trying to follow that concept. Mm. Like, all of these arrows except this one here. I copied this one straight from the piece to try and like, make sure I got the right shapes and everything. But they were not meant to be the same. They're yeah. not meant to be equal either. There's a couple of tiny bits that look like they've been cafe, like the end of that yeah. arrow, and the end of that arrow, and the little bump there, and exactly. this little bit here. But I'm, I mean, that's not a problem either. I mean, there's ways that you could even put a filter on to make it look like it's actually been painted by hand a tiny bit as well. Mm. But uh, what, what do you guys think? It's good. I like it. And you know those, the ones that we're talking about, those older rubber and Deanna works? Okay. Yeah. They come up, when you search them up, they are one of the first ones that yeah. pop up with his works. So. Right, right. I guess they did come up when I showed the rest of the class, just because I, I did that sort of like tutorial about like how to change the colours, but mm. I just kept on looking at the same time. Yeah. Sort of style ones? Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, I just wasn't completely inspired by his print work, but I was more inspired by this one, and that's why I kind of took that route instead of the other one. Mm -hmm. I just liked the concept better, mm -hmm. and I liked the layering. Okay. Um, Vicky, what do you think? Um, I quite like it. Anything you think that she should work on? Is there, if, if, there had to, if there had to be one thing that she has to improve? Because we've all got to slightly improve these to go through the design process. What's one thing that you can see that Shannon should change or improve on? Something that she should edit. Because you've still got this as a PSD. Yeah. Yeah. So just one thing. Um, the arrow over the each, I don't know why, but I don't really like the arrow over the each. The red one or the green one? The one, the, the, one. Mo the most bottom one. The red one? Yeah. The, the really curvy one. one? Yeah. It just doesn't settle with you? Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> so do you think I should like move it slightly to the left or the right or like change its colour or decrease the size? Or should it be all pointing towards yeah, the Yeah, so they all be pointing the same way or? Yeah. Oops. Um. I mean, I could point them all the same way, but the piece that I was looking at had them all go in different directions, so I don't think that would be kind of valid to his style. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> the colour of the eight is just a... Uh, that kind of orange. It's not really popping. Do you think I should make it darker? Um, food has comes... A contrast. Food is so easily seen. Yeah. And Keep on eat. going back to food. Not eat, just food. Mm. I, I think <laughs> the blue arrow, the biggest one, is quite a bright blue compared to the other colours that are used. So tone it down a bit. Tone it down. To yeah, make to it make a bit more sixties. Yeah. 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 It's quite like bright, like what they give you on like a colour palette on the computer. Yeah, right. it's quite bright. It does look a little bit different on the projector. Oh yeah. but not blues. Not really blues. There are some I mean, colours. It there. is on when I'm fiddling with it on Photoshop, it is more of like a lighter blue. It's not as dark yeah. and vibrant, but I see what you mean. I should darken it a little bit. You could tone even the white down to make it sort of like yeah, a it was a creamy stucco. It was like a, I got I got the white color from the piece that I oh, and right. it was like a creamy, so it's exactly yeah, yeah, the yeah. color, but yeah. it just looks a bit weird. It, remember, yeah. you could always exaggerate a little bit more if you wanted to. You could even make it even more aged. Yeah. You can make the whites even more yellow and the reds more orange and the greens more sort of tacky. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, cool. Well, uh, so what else have we got? Let's, let's talk about something else. This one! Cool, I really like this one. Now, we have yeah, seen yeah. that retro image before. Um, you have? Ellen, Ellen, did you? Ellen yeah. used it. Ellen used it as well. So, so food, 
is your writing, which I like. Yep. That looks, that so looks I awesome. I took a picture of that in... And in some Korean? Korean? Yep, that's Korean. And the Campbell's soup can. Yep. Gotta love that Campbell's soup. This is kind of like your um, North Korean game Propaganda. Poster. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of inspired by that. Right. But the reason, so I have the cherries and the lady holding all the jars, but yeah. in the bottom jar there's cherries in that jar, so I kind of tried to incorporate that. Yeah. And then the soup cans with the vintage old people within the clothing, and kind of like the layering where it looks like there's pressed flowers mm. over them to kind of bring a bit more texture into it. And then just with the beehive effect and then cutting that and bringing it around so it kind of all links a bit more. Yeah, I like that little Because it was looking <laughs> quite, I didn't like how it was very squared off, even though that's a style. Yeah. It didn't, it wasn't linking properly in my opinion, so I tried to bring it more in. Mm. And if I was going to add anything more, I might put like a paint splatter or something underneath the food to I make think it that's more. what it needs. It needs yeah. another element to I think I would kind of like lay that underneath the food just to like make it pop a little bit more and stand out, but yeah. That grid paper, you could dirty it up somehow. Maybe with yeah, a exactly. paint splatter, splatter or Yeah, and kind of like darken it a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I think the place looks really good. I like how the, the Korean characters are... Uh, halfway on top of the, the beehive element and that curve of the beehive the graphic is really cool and the painting, the cherry painting from the retro thing. Yeah. I'm not sure if the woman should go behind that because her torso sort of ends suddenly from wherever it's cut off from. Yeah. But if I, she was behind, you wouldn't, I don't know. But then it also, if she was behind, the bottom, the bottom piece would be a lot more dominant in the picture where I was trying to break it up a little bit more. Yeah. But I've made her slightly bolder so she stands out a little bit more because in... Uh, is, is the background dull down or left toned down? No, that was just the background. That was just the background, yeah. okay. But it works well anyway because she pops forward. Exactly, forward. I made her purposely pop forward. Yeah, yeah. And I like how food is sometimes in front and sometimes behind the branch. That's mm. cool. Yeah, I just think it could be a bit more gritty. I think yeah. the I, I think it needs to get a bit like... I need to dirty it up a bit. Yeah. You could always do the thing over the eyes that he does sometimes. Yeah. Or Definitely the lady with the jars. Yeah, because my eyes keep on going back to the Korean character for cherries in her. And it's minus two pen, because like the stuff in her hand is red. Yeah. Maybe the eye goes naturally to red. Um What do you guys think? Yeah, it's good. I like how you've like spaced it out, like Compositionally it's pretty yeah. Pretty, pretty awesome. Like you don't cover the whole background, you still have some element of the background there, like it's not completely covered. Mm. Bit of space. Yeah. Um, but I didn't want to leave it white in the background because it looked too stark against all the like vintage kind of images. It could so be. That's why I put grid. It could be a white splatter or a white or toy pen texture. I mean, I think that would look cool over the top and maybe layer it over the top of the bees kind of hive look as well. Mm -hmm. The background looks too clean. Yeah, the background yeah. looks too clean. I agree on that one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but apart from that, it's looks pretty quite good. It's very indicative of the style. You could you could have food in a speech bubble. I think that could look cool. Um, so maybe playing the speech bubbles or thought bubbles yep. would be another thing to push it further towards receipts with. Okay, cool. Anything else? Anything else? Okay, cool. And what's your last one? This is my last one. So who's this, guys? That's cool. So this one definitely was a very much inspired by the food bank and I have pieces from their website, all my writings from their website. I have their address, also their like postcode number, um, people, I kind of try to connect with more of the emotional side of the food bank, so instead of having like, I have food, I have grapefruit in the background as more colour as well as like a stencil mm. look, but then I kind of wanted eyes, so that's a focal point, and hands, like because hands help and they provide and everything, and it's not, it's like a hand out, not a hand up or however yeah, that goes. Helping hands. Helping hands, and, helping hands. Yeah, yeah. and the hands like wiping away her tear, like helping her in her time of need. Right. Or him. 
but it looks more like woman's eyes. But yeah. I, I think if you're going to do the tier, I think that other tier icon, that graphic, should also be in the same direction. Same direction? Yeah, that yeah. blue one. I just um, didn't want it to look too repetitive. No, I think it would be okay. It could, okay. I mean, I think if it's below that one, like maybe above the zero sort of, but in the yeah. same way, so that we do see mm -hmm. it. Because otherwise, I'd almost think it was kind of a sapphire on the ring of the, of the hand. I can see that too. Maybe. Maybe. Um, the other thing is, I'm not sure about, and, and there's, he's a real hard artist to, to sort of like define, but I'm not sure that he would use that many different angles. A lot of the time it's either horizontal or vertical, and cutting those, but multiple angles, because you've got horizontal, vertical, and then like one, two on food bank, and then three, four different angles, and I don't know, I mean, this, I, I mean, we could easily find an example that would prove me wrong, but... Yeah, the piece that I was looking at was, because first off when I started, I was looking more monochromatic colours, just because the piece that I was looking at was more that, but then mm. I realised that a lot of those pieces have colours, so I incorporated them, but yeah, the piece that I was looking at had vertical, had always of wording. Right. Yeah, I, I mean, you remember that quote by Carson about don't, uh, you know, like about uh, legibility. You know, like you can see how much you can remove from a word or remove from a letter, but still be able to see that letter. Because we'll, we'd only mistake an F for an E um, if we could substitute it. There's no word that, that has O O D at the end that starts with an E. Mm -hmm. So we'd assume that's a meant. So you could almost get rid of the bottom of it of food. And maybe even this, and maybe the top of bank and see how much you can remove or glitch or damage. Yeah, or, uh, just damage the image until it's still readable. Because it takes your brain long, and that's what Carson's all about. Like that initial was like, what the heck does that say? And then you figure it out, and it's slightly longer than it would normally take you. And so as you do it, you spend more time on those pieces. That's and the like secret. Recognize things that you wouldn't recognize if you didn't look at it long enough. Mm. Like Therefore, cold. people look at his stuff for longer. Yeah, and that's why it's so popular. Yeah, that's and, and as your eye is dancing across the image, you also do the the, the other the non-readable images as well as you're trying to figure out what's that. Yeah, does, what's eod eod pink? Oh, food bank. But in that space of time, my eye would have gone grapefruit, grapefruit texture, hand, eye, tear, blah 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 blah. That's the idea anyway. The theory. Um, Anything else you guys want to add on this one? Do you yes. think it's indicative of, of his style or do you think it's a bit of a departure? It's very like his style. It's a lot like his style of just putting a whole lot of stuff that are relevant to each other. Okay, okay. giant collage of words and mm. things. Yeah. I think of the three that you've shown us, this is possibly the one I still I quite like it, but it's almost like a Almost a, like a modern ad um, because of that negative space. You get. And now I'm sure, like I said before, you could you could possibly find one in that castle book right next to you that is super similar to the one you've done. But um, I mean, like comparing it to your one and my one, the only difference is I just have a lot more negative space. Yeah, that white. Yeah. It's it's. Really and he has his white space. Yeah. No, he, he does. So, so um, he's really hard to pin down though. Like is. you look at one thing and then you look at the next thing and it contradicts the thing you did before. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's perfectly acceptable as a, as a casting, especially if I if I gave an external examiner someone that doesn't know you and you had your six images out and I said these are the, and I gave them a list of the six artists, they'd be able to figure out whose was whose in your project that you had in without any labeling. Hopefully. So are we, are you going to say something, Ellen? Oh, yeah. well, it's a bit clean to me. You think it's too clean for, for Carson? Mm, just a little bit. Maybe a bit more kind of layering of gibberish on the kind of colour build. What is that? You could fill it in maybe a little bit more, just just to have that extra evolution of it. And if you, and you could always evolve back by removing it again. So, so kind of fill in the white space? But it could be with like a cream text or like a grey a text so it's not that distracting. Just something, some kind of 
text or just okay. Just using text as a as a background sort of thing. Yeah, it's a bit kind of white. Yeah, yeah. It is very clean. Um, but like I said, there's probably gonna be examples of that. But try it out. Why don't you, yeah. as your next evolution for this one, why don't you see, just rearrange things a little bit, is that the right place? And just, mm -hmm. you might even end up looking better to your eye. Okay, yeah. Just try it out. I can do that. And I, I can see what you mean. I, I can see what you mean having like a cream kind of bold with like a shadow background. So it's like, it's it there, still, but you don't yeah. really know what it is. Mm -hmm. That could look cool. Yeah, because I, I know what you mean. It is really white. Yeah. But uh, it's not necessarily a bad thing, but just try it out. And I think move that tier. Yeah, move and the tier maybe, up. I don't know. Just make well, sure things we... always look better in threes. So I could put a third one in. Mm -hmm. That would look nice. Could be two different sizes as well. Exactly, yeah. And play around with that one. Alright, cool. That's it.